So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. Now, once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first, we're going to expand HQ local machine. Then we're going to expand software. Then we're going to expand Microsoft. Now we're going to scroll down until we find Windows NT. You want to expand Windows NT. And now you want to expand current version. And then you want to scroll down and then click on Windows. Now once you're on this, you want to click on Load App. You want to double click on it. Make sure that the value data has been set to zero and then click on OK. So for the next step, you want to make sure the graphical drivers are fully up to date. So I'll leave three links down below for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I download the GeForce experience. Now once you're in your software, you want to click on the drivers tab and then click on check for updates. Make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date. Now for the next step, I'm going to leave three links down below for Visual C++, DirectX and user runtime and to download Net Framework. These are all from Microsoft, they're completely safe. You want to download all three of these. I'm going to leave three links down below to download all of them. Now for the next step, you want to find the application exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on compatibility. And then you want to take run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. Disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator. And then click on OK. So guys, for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're here, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Now as the scan is running, we're going to head over to search again and type in CMD again. Then we're also going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you want to type in chkdsk space c colon space dash f space dash r. Now for the c colon, you want to replace c with the drive letter name that you have your application installed on. Now once you do that, you want to click on enter. If you get this message, you want to type in Y and then click on enter. And now once this SFC scan now has been completed, you want to restore your computer and then the problem should be fixed.